Vikinet Live Viewing Basics, the site list. Run the Vikinet application and log into the system. On the left side, the site list is shown with a list of all Vikinet and third-party devices, IP cameras, encoders, and or DVRs that can transmit live video. Selecting any device will then display the list of cameras available for viewing. There are two methods of selecting a camera for live viewing. Select any location in the display area. You will see that the area is highlighted with a pink frame after selection. Clicking on the camera name in the list will then start the video and display it in the designated location. The camera device and name is displayed above the video for your reference, as well as the chain of custody requirement. Repeat the process of selecting an area and then selecting the camera to display. Fill in as many cameras as you require. If the area selected is already showing video when the new camera is selected, the previous video will stop and only the new camera's video will be displayed. To stop a camera's display, simply select it again from the list. This will cause the video from that camera to stop and the area on the screen will no longer display the video. Pressing the stop button at the bottom right of the screen will stop all live video cameras currently being displayed. Another way of selecting a camera is by the drag and drop method. Select the camera you require to view and drag it onto the display area. The location where you drop the camera is where the video will be displayed. Repeat the process of drag and drop by selecting more cameras. Fill in as many cameras as you require. If the area selected is already showing video when the new camera is dropped, the previous video will stop and only the new camera's video will be displayed. When selecting the device itself from the list and dragging it to the display area, all cameras connected to that unit will automatically populate the screen. All previously viewed video will be stopped and the new cameras started from the top left corner. At the bottom right of the screen are several buttons that enable you to select the number of cameras to view at the same time. These buttons include single display, one camera, quad display, up to four cameras, six display, up to six cameras, nine display, up to nine cameras, 16 display, up to 16 cameras. The last button is the full screen display mode. Pressing this button will cause the screen to show only the video display area, removing all other items from the screen. To get back to normal display, select the back button at the top right of the screen or click the escape key on your keyboard. To view only one camera from the screen while several cameras are currently being displayed, double click on the desired camera's video. This causes the same effect as selecting the camera and then pressing on the single display button at the bottom right. Double click the video again and the screen will revert back to the previous display view. Every live or playback camera has the digital zoom feature using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Select the camera's video you want to digitally zoom. The location of the mouse pointer will determine the position for the zoom and then use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom. Roll up and you zoom in. Roll down and you zoom out. Click on the roller to go back to the original view. Digital zoom only occurs on your screen and does not affect the video recording or if someone else is viewing the same camera.